Have you gotten sick of how limiting the original Geometry Dash's functionalities and how buggy some of its features? Don't you wish these existing bugs would go away? Or even add custom features that you never knew you needed until now? Well, look no further, because as of now, modding Geometry Dash is basically a trend and literally everyone I meet that plays this game either has a modded PC version or an Android version. So if you're a GD modder yourself, you are considered to be one of the elitist of the elite and you are easily one of the most respected person to ever touch this game. So today, we are not going to dive deep into the PC version of the modding community. Instead, we will be focusing on the Android side of the player base. As of now, there are a total of two modded GD applications with a f ton of features and functionalities that I know of. These two are Italian APK Downloader's Android Mod Menu, which was released on March 7, 2021, and Absolute's Megahack Mobile, which was recently released on March 19, 2023. Now, without a doubt, these two applications are very powerful and extremely useful for the GD mobile players out there that unfortunately has no PC alternative or even a PC at all. And of course, if something like this exists, some people will find a way to abuse the system of the Geometry Dash's completions by cheating their way forward. So if you're one of those people, get the f*** out. With that said, with two very useful apps to choose from, it can be pretty hard to pick which. So this video will go over these apps UI, style, features, pros and cons to hopefully help people narrow down their choices. So for chronological sake, let's begin with the app that released first. Italian APK Downloader's Android Mod Menu's approach for its user interface is to have a floating icon that looms over everything in the game. I'm not really a fan of how the icon looks because it can be very distracting when it's on while playing a green themed level. Fortunately, you have an option to disable it when playing levels so it's good. By clicking this icon, you are then greeted with two windows. One contains the names and categories of the mods and the other with the mods options and functionalities. They are laid in a descending and scrolling order which can be pretty confusing to navigate at first. For example, at my first usage of this app, I didn't really know the difference of gameplay stats and stats. So by enabling the cheat indicator option, which was located in the gameplay stats mods, I sometimes mess up and click the other one named general mods, which has a completely different area of functionality. Although at some point of using this app, I pretty much got used to it and moved on. For Megahack Mobile's user interface and style approach, Absolute made the icon to be stagnant in one place so it can be easily located and accessed. For me, I think this is a pretty good idea because not only it can avoid distraction, but it can also be seen and identified pretty quickly because of how the mod icon looks. By looking at the icon, it feels like it's part of the game somehow because of its overall Rob Tappy style. By clicking on it, it brings a single window that are divided into two parts. It has similar style of Android mod menu in displaying the mods, mod names on the left, and mod functions on the right. Only this time, the app organizes the mods even further. The left side of the window is actually the categories of the mods that tells us where they belong, and the right side is the names of the actual mods. You can enable and disable mods by clicking on them, or display the additional functionalities by clicking on the plus icon which are available on some mods. It even has an arrow navigation on the side which calls the mods down for you. But meh, 
it's kinda useless since you can scroll already by touching the screen. Now when it comes to mods, these two apps are feature packed to the brim. Some are extremely useful and the others are there just for fun. So out of curiosity, I counted every single mod on each apps for further evaluation. The Android mod menu has a total of 22 main mods. Some of those mods have their own submenus with different functionalities. Summing up all of those gives us a total of 138 additional options. So in total, there are exactly 160 mods present in Android mod menu, which is a lot exactly, considering that this is for the Android platform alone. Moving on to the second app, Megahack Mobile has 68 main mods. Same as the first one, this app also includes its own submenus. Adding all of those sub-options will result into 21 mods. So the total number of mods in Megahack Mobile is, is 89 mods. This is literally half the amount of mods compared to the Android mod menu. This somewhat surprises me because in the PC version, it was full of features and can even surpass Android mod menu if it added all of those. But I'm guessing because of how limited the capabilities of an Android phone, they left those out. Android mod menu has features that are not present in the Megahack mobile. Well, obviously I can't name all of them because that would take ages. But instead, let's go over those familiar ones that I'm sure Android mod menu users can agree on. I hope. Bruh. This app has a flashlight mod. If you think the game wasn't hard enough and you want a challenge by f***ing up your vision, then this is for you. Better ship physics. I don't know, it just makes the ship operate slightly slower. Hide pause button. If you want a cleaner screen while recording or just want to feel like a PC player, then go ahead. Personally, I like this function. Add more icons. Custom animated menu backgrounds. Make everything trippy by turning everything into an RGB looping madness. Graphic change to make the game's texture pack look sharp. Warning, it can potentially increase lag. Local backup options. For safe measures against Robtop's poor server maintenance. And the most important of all, it has a resolution changer. This single feature is why I use this app in the first place. It helps me visually bug fix a level by alternating between different screen aspect ratios. All of these features and functionalities for the very very low price of free. Moving on to Megahack Mobile. It also has its own exclusive features that are not present in Android mod menu. It has a character bypass filter. This mod allows you to input symbols on text. Text length bypass. It removes those annoying text limit. Bruh. Editor extension. It increases the editor length by a total of 128. Whatever that means. Free scroll. Let's just scroll out of the editor. Useful in creating decorations way beyond the starting point. Classic particles. The OG particles. Auto kill. Useful if you wanna practice certain parts without exceeding the limit areas. Start pause feature. A very convenient way of navigating through start pause. You can say goodbye to creating copies of the same level with different start pauses. Message. Displays a custom text in any part of the screen. It can be pretty useful in making watermarks in videos. Meta. This is a very powerful mod that displays the general information of the player in real time. It includes frame, X position, Y position, velocity, rotation, gravity, speed, and an alive or dead sensor. And the most awaited GD mode functionality to ever come to mobile, macro recording and replaying. I was very skeptical at first but when I tried it myself, it works. Like holy sh**, it works. This is me literally recording and playing a macro over a level. 
although it drops frames here and there but when I tested it out in a recording it plays a full 60 frames per second video this is a huge breakthrough for those GD mobile showcasers as it can lessen the stress while recording while keeping the videos in the highest and best quality this application isn't free however but with a single payment of $2.99 you can enjoy this mod to your heart's content. In all honesty, these apps offer way more functions that we can all ask for. But in terms of me making layouts and videos, I always find myself using Italian APK Downloader's Android Mode menu more often than Absolute's Mega Hack Mobile, mainly because this has the resolution changer which I badly need for making layouts and levels, and also because of its safety features such as local backup. To be fair, the Megahack Mobile is still in its infancy, because it was very recently released. Who knows, maybe in the future, this app will also have features that I didn't know I needed. Who knows if Absolute himself is watching this video at this very moment, and gladly took notes for the app's future updates. Who knows, right? Please subscribe.